welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be creating a um, paper bag book cover for in my Amazon KDP it's going to be a college full notebook paper a notebook <laughs> college full notebook so first I'm going to type in paper bag cover templates into Google and I'm going to click uh, KDP cover calculator so um, we want to go ahead and get a downloadable picture so that we are able to know where to put everything once we get the layout for the book cover so we want to um, do a paperback book with black and white because it's just going to be lined pages with white paper um, you open up the book from right to left in inches with a trim size um, a standard composition notebook has a trim size of seven and a half um, width by 9.25 in height and don't forget this this is in inches um, with a standard of about a hundred pages so when you calculate the dimensions, it gives you all the numbers. Um, so when you, you need to know your width and your height. So when you calculate the width, you're going to add the front cover plus the back plus the spine plus an additional 0.25 because if you can imagine the cover has to be a little bit bigger than the interior and then for the height you're going to add just the height um, just the height and you're going to add 0.25 so that's going to give us a width of um, let me go over to Canva we're going to click create design um, you got to make sure that when you do your custom size that it's going to be in inches. So down here it says create um, a custom size. So you want to do inches. So when you add up everything, your width is 15.48. The height is 9.48. Five. Oops, 9.5. And then this is when you create your new design. So this is the size of the page. So when you go back, you want to download this template here. I already have it uploaded into my Canva. So when you click on it, um, this is how it looks. So this is going to be, it, this just gives you an idea of where everything needs to go. The barcode is here. The back cover is here. The front cover is here. You have the pink, which is the margin. So you don't want to put anything here um, Here in the pink. That's going to be like words that will, that will be cut off. So um, let's go back to Canva. I already have a design that I did. I'm going to replicate it so you, and it's already been submitted to um, Amazon. I'm going to replicate it so you can see how I made this book. So I had some images made on Fiverr. This is one of the ones. She is a praying woman. The great thing about Canva is, um, okay, so I'm just going to click on the backgrounds because we have a white background here. Um, the good thing about Canva, when you click on the colors, they actually will match this background cover, color automatically. They kind of give you a color scheme to work with. So I'm going to click this and you can see how the background of the photo matches the background of the, of the picture. But first... Um, a lot of times, it's kind of hard to differentiate um, the front 
notes from the back of the book and where you're going to end your design. So what I like to do is just put, um, go to elements and get a rectangle and put the rectangle um, kind of like center it in the middle of the book so that I know where the front is versus the back. So now that I put this rectangle here, I can hit position because position will allow me to center it. So this is the absolute center of my book. This is the back and this is the front. So now I can get a better gauge of where to place her. So um, I'm going to go and add some words of like, um, I'm going to go here to text. I already have a quote that I want to put at the top. So um, initially, I just searched through here and kind of played with the different fonts until I found one that I liked. Um, I wanted something that was have a little bit of cursive look to it. And so the one that I found was called Dancing Script. Okay, I'll just click on that. Pretty tiny. Let's let's do fifty so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so it's the quote is it's an inspirational like um it's an inspirational type of quote. It says God grant me a heart. Sorry, I have um, another software on here that gets in the way of my typing. Grammarly is what it is. It gets in the way sometimes. Grant me a heart that, let me do capital, that seat. You above all else. Okay, so this is going to be what I put for my quote. Um, so I'm going to bring her down a little bit so we can make sure we are in center with the. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. So we are centered. With the strip in the middle, I'm going to position this to be in the middle. So when you see that purple line, it kind of lets you know that that is the middle. Everything is centered. You see um, Canva will give you a centering line. So at the bottom, I'm just going to do um, a regular font. I'm going to put, I'm going to actually, I'm going to delete this. It's going to give information about it. I'm going to put college ruled composition notebook okay um, um, I'm gonna pull this down underneath okay I'm gonna center that so you can see everything the front is almost done actually so the back I'm gonna just do some nice textures Let's go to elements. And as you can kind of see, I've already kind of pulled this. This is what I used when I first did this design. So I typed in cross. You can type in what you want. So I typed in cross and I just scrolled until I found exactly what I wanted. Sometimes it takes the photos time to load, but this is the one I chose. It comes out in this brown color. So I want to um, change the, the color here. I want it to be more of a blue.
Nicht so klein. Okay. Um, and then let's go back. So we're in elements. So let's type. Um, we can add a little bit of layering. Add a little bit of layering. And let's see, let's type background. And so normally what I do is just pick something that I can just apply to the back. Actually, that's not the one I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one. So I pick something that I know I can apply to the back. Spread it out. And this is just to add some texture. And then I like to position it to the back. Let's um, put it in the back. That way we have everything else overlapping on the top. So we have the cross in the middle. Get a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun things. Um, in the back. So sometimes it's kind of hard to imagine the book, how it's going to look. Um, the front versus the back. It's just something about the book really comes to life once it's printed. It just looks so beautiful, like everything really comes to life. So you have to have a vision for this type of thing. And so I'm going to change the color of the, um, the words to match this cross back here. So yeah, there you have it. So, um, and then... We're going to go and use our template. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right here. This is our template that we had in the beginning. We're going to expand it so we can see if everything is in alignment. So, normally, what I do is I just kind of like slowly drag it down. Like that, and I just make sure that everything's in alignment. In alignment. So if you have a, so if you can kind of imagine like putting this little template, it's still difficult to, to really tell the front from the back. Like if you want to do a crazy design on the back, how do you know where to stop it at, so it will don't run over into the front. So that's why I put this strip right here, because this helps me to really, and I can make it skinnier if I want to, to more so align with, and then also don't forget to center it. But, um, you know, I can make it skinnier if I want. But this is the most powerful thing that you can do to keep the, your back design from running over into your front design. And so I don't need this anymore. Everything looks great. I'm going to delete that. So normally, once you're ready to, I'm so happy to make everything in bold. So once you're um, ready to upload everything into KDP, this is your your cover. You want to save it right here under something that is easy to find on the computer. Hit the share button. And then when you hit download, you want to always 
save it as a PDF print. And then you hit the download bu button and it is ready to go. It says, congratulations, your design is ready to go. Can I click on it? This is how it looks. Okay. And so for the interior, like I said, it's going to be a composition notebook. So it's going to be very basic interior. Just line paper is what it's going to be. Just line paper. Okay. And there you have it. Thank you.